The journey of China desert greening is as astonishing as it is controversial. Few believe that barren deserts could be reclaimed and turned into productive land, yet this ongoing transformation is reshaping lives and landscapes. It challenges our assumptions about what is possible in hostile terrain. Behind the green belts and thriving farms are decades of hard labor, science, and innovation. Stay with me as we explore this remarkable transformation. Do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss the latest updates on groundbreaking technological and environmental progress. The China Desert Greening Project around the Taklimakan Desert is one of the most ambitious ecological achievements in modern history. Over 40 years of relentless work created a massive ring of vegetation to stop the desert from expanding further. The project reached completion recently as the last trees were planted along a vast 3,046-kilometer perimeter. In places like Moyu County, this effort has brought new hope. Rows of date trees now stretch across former dunes, proving that life can thrive where sand once ruled. Farmers discovered that, if the roots are strong, the trees can bear fruit even in this harsh environment. The Greenbelt has also opened doors to new crops. Grapes, pomegranates, and figs now grow alongside dates, while corn shields young grapevines from fierce winds. This shift shows how China's desert transformation is not only protecting land but also creating fresh opportunities for agriculture. For decades, residents of Chemo County in Xinjiang have worked to defend their homes from the advancing sands of the Taklimakan Desert. As part of the China Desert Greening Initiative, they planted more than 8,000 hectares of trees over 23 years, building a green barrier stretching 23 kilometers. This task was neither simple nor quick. The desert, often shifting by up to 10 meters each year, threatened to overrun villages. The community's survival depended on stopping its advance. Preparations for tree planting were as demanding as the planting itself, building roads, laying power lines, digging wells, and installing dense water pipelines. Water remains the greatest challenge. With annual rainfall barely reaching 30 mm and evaporation surpassing 2,500 mm, survival here demands ingenuity. Farmers turn to drip irrigation, which saves 70% of water compared to traditional flooding. This method keeps the trees alive, even in one of the most arid places on Earth. The success of China Desert Greening proves that persistence can reshape nature itself. Once a place of endless dunes, parts of northwest China have become green oases. This transformation has not only healed the land but also improved the lives of those who call it home. Local families who once struggled against drifting sands now cultivate fields of crops and orchards. Small businesses have sprung up around the new farmland, offering new livelihoods. The once hostile desert is becoming a place of stability and opportunity. Such progress challenges the belief that desertification is irreversible. It shows that, with determination, even the harshest environments can be restored. This spirit continues to inspire other regions battling desert spread around the world. The Taklimakan Desert, often called the Sea of Death, once symbolized hardship and poverty. Now, through China's desert transformation, it has become a source of new opportunities. Farmers raise crops and livestock in newly reclaimed land, while entrepreneurs explore industries once thought impossible in desert settings. Seafood and pearl farming have begun to appear in inland Xinjiang thanks to new aquaculture techniques. Perhaps the most striking development is the rise of massive renewable energy projects. 
The desert is not only turning green but is also becoming a hub for innovation-driven economic growth. New infrastructure, such as modern highways and rail links, now connects these once isolated regions to national markets. Scientific research centers are being set up to test new soil improvement methods and water-saving technologies. Investors from across the country are drawn by the region's renewable energy potential and growing industries. Solar and wind farms, stretching across vast sandy plains, now supply power to distant cities. What was once a barren wasteland is fast becoming a model of how persistence and innovation can reshape even the harshest landscapes. The Kabuki Desert in Inner Mongolia has long threatened the Yellow River with encroaching sand. Now, new technology is reshaping the battle against desertification. The so-called photovoltaic Great Wall, a line of solar panels, acts as both an energy source and a barrier to hold back the sands. This approach is part of the larger China Desert Greening Strategy. Engineers are also testing hydrogel, a material that locks in moisture, making it easier for plants to survive in sandy soil. These efforts show how modern science can work with nature rather than against it. By blending green energy production with sand control methods, regions like Inner Mongolia are turning vulnerable landscapes into productive, resilient ecosystems. Research teams are mapping soil quality to identify the most effective areas for planting hardy shrubs and grasses. Local farmers are receiving training to integrate traditional knowledge with these new technologies. Renewable power generated by the solar panels is now helping nearby towns reduce their reliance on coal. Pilot projects are exploring the use of drones to distribute seeds and monitor plant growth across vast sandy regions. These combined efforts are transforming what was once a shifting desert into a model of sustainable environmental restoration and economic renewal. Perhaps the most surprising chapter in China desert greening is the rise of a thriving fish industry in Xinjiang. In Nilka County, salmon trout flourish in the cold, clear meltwater from the Tianshan Mountains. Once, the idea of raising fish in a desert sounded absurd. Now, it is reality. Within 24 hours of harvesting, these freshwater salmon reach dinner tables across the country. This development highlights the power of human innovation in transforming not only landscapes but also economies. By harnessing natural resources wisely, regions once defined by scarcity are discovering new forms of abundance. Aquaculture has also created new jobs for local families, boosting household incomes and reducing poverty. The success of this desert fish industry is inspiring similar projects in other arid regions across China. Infrastructure plays a crucial role in sustaining China desert greening efforts. A monumental example is the 4,197-kilometer high-voltage power transmission loop completed around the Tarim Basin, which borders the Taklimakan Desert. Built over 15 years, the loop links nine substations and nearly 10,000 steel towers. It delivers stable electricity to remote desert communities and industries. 
To overcome shifting sands and strong winds, workers developed new construction methods and even built access roads along the loop's path. This power expressway brings energy security and connects the desert to the wider region's economy. It proves that greening the desert requires not only planting trees, but also building strong foundations for sustainable development. In Inner Mongolia, an 1,856-kilometer green barrier now links three major deserts, the Badain Jaran, Tengger, and Ulanbu, forming a united line of defense against further sand expansion. Launched in February and completed in just over four months, this China desert greening achievement relies on a network of trees, shrubs, and grass grids. These natural shields hold back the dunes and stabilize the soil. The success of this project reflects decades of learning and adaptation. It shows that strategic planting, combined with local participation and modern science, can slow desert spread and protect vulnerable lands. The cultural side of China's desert transformation shines in Dunhuang, a historic city in Gansu province. Once an oasis along the ancient Silk Road, it now attracts millions of visitors drawn to its unique desert scenery and lively events. At the Mingxia Mountain and Crescent Spring site, night concerts light up the dunes with music, drones, and fireworks. Tourists scatter beneath the star-filled sky, waving glow sticks and singing together. These events have transformed the desert into a place of celebration and connection. By linking natural beauty with cultural experiences, desert regions are discovering new ways to sustain both their environment and their economies. <laughs>